Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you nine things that you might not have known about the Instant Pot. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson, and I own the blog 365daysofcrockpot.com. I share Instant Pot and slow cooker recipes there pretty much every day of the year. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Every Tuesday I post new Instant Pop videos. Now let's get on to the tips. <laughs> Did you know that you can use your lid? These little tabs that are sticking out of your lid are actually made for something. They're made to stick right inside here. So when you're done cooking, you can just put your lid like that and it stands up and you don't have to find a place for it to rest on the counter. Very handy. When you pressure cook something, at the end of the cooking time, the pot will automatically switch to the keep warm setting, but it doesn't have to. The way that you do this is, let's say you're setting your button here, manual pressure cook time for 12 minutes. Instead of pushing the manual button once, you push it twice, and this little light will either toggle on or off. Now it's off, so if you want it to not switch to the keep warm setting, you just press it twice instead of just once. In case you don't want to hear all the beeps and the sounds that come from your Instant Pot, you can turn them off. The way that you do that is by pressing the minus button for three seconds. It will say S off and that just stands for sound off. If you want to turn the sound back on, all you have to do is push the plus button for three seconds. and it will say S on. If you wanna reset all of your settings to the factory default settings, you can do that. And the way you do that is by making sure that this is in the off position, and then go ahead and push the adjust button for three seconds. It'll give you that little beep indicating that it has changed to the factory settings. So when I go to manual to cook something, instead of saying 12 minutes like it did in the past, it's gonna say 30 minutes. You've probably noticed that when you get done cooking, the pot will automatically switch to this L mode and then it will start counting up on how many minutes that the food has been done. The L stands for lapsed time. So that's what the L is. Did you know that you can delay start something? So let's say you have some food in there, not meat, because we don't want it to go into like a danger zone and grow bacteria, but let's say you have some vegetables in there that you don't want cooked for a couple hours. You'd go ahead and say, let's say you manual, and you really only want them to be, you know, five minutes cooking time or something like that. Then you're gonna go ahead and push this timer button and then you're gonna set it for how long you want it to delay. So let's say I want, it to, I want it to start cooking in one hour. You'd go ahead and push the timer button and adjust it with these minus or plus buttons to one hour. I use the saute button in a lot of my recipes um, to brown things or to saute things. It's right over here. Um, you can push the saute button, but did you know that you can adjust the temperature? So you can go ahead and push the adjust button to more. It's less normal and more. So less would be for things like um, simmering or thickening sauces. Normal would be for regular sauteing or pan searing. And then more would be for stir fry or for browning um, meat. Did you know when you first get your Instant Pot and you bring it out of the box, it's gonna have a clear plastic cover over the display? A lot of people don't know that. And then in a few weeks, it starts bubbling up and they're wondering what the heck is going on. But you just peel it off really easily and um, it's just there to protect it in its packaging. Did you know that you can use your Instant Pot to proof dough? So if you're making a yeast dough and you need it to raise, then you're gonna go ahead and just put a little swirl of oil in the bottom of the pot um, and then put the dough in and flip the dough over so that the top part gets a little bit of oil on it too. 
And then you're not, and this is important, you're not going to use this lid. You're going to use a um, either a piece of like plastic wrap over the top, another lid like a glass lid, or even a plate to cover the top of the pot. Um, and then you're going to use the yogurt function. So go ahead and push the yogurt button and then adjust it to the less setting right here. And it will take about 30 minutes for the dough to proof. The reason you don't want to use the Instant Pot lid is that the dough can raise and it can um, push the valve in and it can get the Instant Pot lid stuck and it's hard to get off. I hope this video was helpful to you today. I would love to see you here next Tuesday where I'll share another Instant Pot video. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to our 365 Days of Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group. You can go ahead and find the link to that in the notes below. If you're on a mobile device, just go ahead and click the title of this video and it will bring up all my notes. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.